Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide a demo for adverse drug effects detection in Python with the data set we downloaded from the faces already with the same data set. We have worked with some other machine learning algorithms, many machine learning algorithms. Uh, and in this work, we are going to work with XGBoost. The data set uh, which we uh, have used in this work have different features like unnamed text and label from this you can notice by after getting the info of the data set you can notice that the text is the object and all others are integers so we have to convert this text into vector so in this work we are working with feature extraction to convert this uh, object to vector by using count vectorizer then we are getting the shape of the data set and also checking whether the data set is having any null values if it is having any null values means we have to work with some pre-processing then we are just counting the labels of the uh, values of the 0 and 1 count in the label variable and just making it as a plot you can notice this then we are making the use of the train test split function to determine the variables like x train x test y train and y test with the use of the x variable y variable and the test size as to 0 0.2 that is 20 percent will be taken for training and remaining 80 percent uh, testing and remaining 80 percent will be taken taken for training in future extraction as i said then we will be working with count vectorizer and we will be using for the x uh, variable since uh, x train and x test why because x train only is having the uh, text variable which is having object type others or numericals only then already we have worked with the logistic regression and we have plotted the confusion matrix plot and have also got and uh, printed the classification report and have got an accuracy of 86 percent then we worked with the support machine and uh, plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and have got an accuracy of 89 percent then we worked with the cat boost class and got uh, plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 86 percent then we worked with passive aggressive classifier and plotted the confusion matrix plot and got uh, printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 80 percent then we worked with the random forest and uh, plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 89 percent then we worked with the name base and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the accuracy confusion classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 81 percent then we worked with the knn and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 78 percent then we worked with the decision tree and got plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report Report parameters uh, and uh, have got an accuracy of 84 percent then we worked with the XG boost in this in this work we are going to work with the XG boost from this XG boost the only difference with every machine learning algorithms is the library so initially we are importing the library and calling the uh, function of our XG classifier within a variable this variable we will be using for training and testing training will be done by use of the fit function and the training variables testing will be done by use of the uh, predict function and with the uh, uh, testing variables then we will be plotting confusion matrix by use of the test variable only why that so for that only the shape was different previously if we saw the, day, the day, uh, shape of the data set means it will be high but here you can notice that it is low since due to uh, we are using 20 percent of the data only for testing remaining we have used for training when coming to the classification report plot uh, here also we are using only the test variable which is taking use of 20 percent of data so this is also we have got the uh, con uh, classification report parameters and have got an accuracy of 85 percent then have we have made a comparison of every algorithms which we have declared like logistic regression support vector machine cat boost ag passive aggression 
random forest may base kn and decision tree and the xt boost algorithm which we implemented now uh, so every algorithms we are calling within a variable call models this model we have called within a loop within the loop we are training the model testing the model and declaring performance metrics parameters like accuracy mean square error or r2 square etc and then we have declaring printing the training accuracy and testing accuracy of every models within the single cell we can notice that the training accuracy and testing accuracy of every models is printed within the single cell then we have made an table comparison within the table comparison we have made a highlighter highlighter uh, the best model will be shown with the green color and the uh, least model will be shown in uh, red color you can notice the support vector motion is providing the better and KNN is providing the least accuracy. So after the support vector mission, random forest takes the place. After that, the uh, um, logistic regression takes the place. After that comes the CAD boost. After that, the XG boost algorithm which we implemented now. Then comes the decision tree. Then comes the passive regression. And finally, the uh, name base and then the KNN. So this is the comparison of different algorithms. In the next video, we will be working with some other comparison. Thank you.